In this video, we are going to pan for gold. Hey guys, welcome to the video. So, if you watched my last video on gold panning, you'll know that we went on a trip to Colorado. I did some gold panning in uh, some of the creeks out there. I brought home uh, some pay dirt from three different creeks. And so we were going to be doing a series of videos of some gold panning. We did find some gold in those creeks while we were out there. Uh, so now we're gonna do some panning at home and uh, see what we can find. So I'm going to get into some of this here and we'll get back to you when we have some color in the pan. We have gone through several pans and uh, I did find one tiny little piece of flower gold um, <clears throat> earlier. We've gone through several and it looks like we finally have two small pieces right there. Happy to see that. All right, let's suck that up so we don't lose it. So we will bring you back in a couple pans later. This is out of the Clear Creek pay dirt. Looks like we managed to get ourselves a couple of small flakes. Uh, flower gold, more like a really small. I'm having to take my time with this. Um, but hey, I'm having fun doing it. We're making some dirty water. We're getting a little bit of gold. All right. So this is a pretty slow process. We've been making our way. I've kind of been alternating between this and uh, this here. Again, that's Monument Creek on the top. We got Clear Creek here. I've only found a couple of uh, little pieces of flower gold in this. And um, flower gold in this one as well. A few more pieces, and that's what I've been showing you. I just panned out another. Let's see if we can get it. We got three more small pieces of flower gold there out of this pan. I think what I'm going to do instead of just showing you guys every time I find a, a little a little speck of gold, we'll just uh, we'll wait and uh, I'll show you what I get at the end. Unless I find a larger flake or a significant amount in a pan, um, we don't need to spend time doing this. But uh, we definitely are finding definitely are finding one, two, three some f fine flower gold there. So we're finding something. Hopefully we can get into some larger flakes. Well, I said I wouldn't bring you guys back in for the small stuff. I would wait till we got a slightly larger flake, which we finally found one. Pretty decent size one. And you can see it right there. I guess I probably don't really need to point it out. But that is, uh, that's out of uh, this bucket right here. And again, this was the bucket that had the three different pay dirts from three different creeks. Uh, the very top layer, which we're finally getting down through, um, didn't really have a whole lot, and I didn't expect it to. A couple of small pieces of real fine flower gold. But now we're getting into that layer of Trail Creek, which is where uh, we found a majority of our gold. And um, we're getting down to that layer now. And that's what this one is from so that's will be a nice little addition there all right happy about that so I'm gonna bring you back in here uh, the last pan uh, that I showed you had a nice little flake in it uh, this one we've got four colors I'll have to zoom in here for you so you can see it looks like we've got one here Little one there, another little one there, and then a nice decent size one right here. Now decent size, I mean that's that's the end of a toothpick here. Um, but uh, yeah, this pan did pretty good. So we got uh, at least four colors in there. So we'll suck those up and we'll put those guys with the others. Well, I'm gonna bring you back in for this nice flake that we found. We'll see if I can, there we go. Ain't she a beaut? Nice. Well, I think I'm just about done for this video. 
Um, we've got our fines in here, and we'll dump those out, but I just wanted to show you real briefly. I've probably gone through about 20 to 25 pans, and, and by that I mean I've got this little scoop here. And that's about how much I'm putting in the pan right there. So we've gone through about 20 to 25 of those. Um, I've just been alternating back and forth between these two. Uh, I think I've probably gotten through that layer of Trail Creek that had a majority of the larger flakes uh, because the last, I'd say, four or five out of there that I've done, I haven't been finding the bigger flakes. Uh, we have been finding smaller flakes. So I think I'm through that layer. It was only about two pans worth, two or three pans worth. Um, so I think we're through that. But we still have been finding a lot of uh, flower gold, a lot of smaller stuff, a little bit bigger flake every now and then. Um, but uh, basically about 20 to 25 pans worth of that much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this one up here, see if we have anything in this. And then we're just going to go ahead and dump out what I've found in those 25 pans. Uh, it's not going to be uh, a huge amount. But uh, it's enough to keep me interested and enough to keep it fun. So um, we'll see uh, what this produces. We'll add it to that. And then we'll take a look at what we found in those 25 pans. Well, what a nice pan to finish up on. Um, we got four little, let me zoom in here. We got four little pieces in there. And we got one. We got one, two, three, four. This one's a pretty nice sized little flake there. Haven't seen one like that in a couple of pans, so there we go. I'm going to put it under the uh, 20 times scope and we'll take a look at it together. Should be fun. Well, here we go. Here's our cleanup from these 25 pans here. There's still some black sands in there. I couldn't get it all completely separated because as you can see, there are some incredibly small pieces of flower gold in there. So, I mean, a lot of this is flower gold and it's moving with the black sand. So, but you can see from our clean up there what we got try and get a little bit there we go fun stuff that's about 25 pans worth not a lot not paying the bills with it but it keeps me happy and it's a lot of fun so all right i think that's enough to make a video thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one